Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly love reading for Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, men and women. Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to all my subscribers and welcome, welcome to all the new viewers. Let's see what's happening in your love life. Oof, look at that. Love. You might have a choice between two loves. I've seen another card here. Where did it go? There it is. Oh, somebody needs to put something behind them so they can move towards love. Yeah, somebody wants love. They need to put something, maybe some baggage, painful memories. Maybe somebody needs to finish a work project so they can move and start concentrating on their love life and have success in love. Could be. There's a choice between two possibly here, but uh, someone needs to put one person behind and maybe picking somebody else. That's what's happening. Very, very interesting energy. Aquarius. If I keep saying Libra, I mean Aquarius. I just did Libras. All right. Aquarius energy in the cards. Aquarius, please. What is the overall energy for Aquarius in their love life? What do they need to know? Overall energy and love surrounding Libra. All right. We have the cow spirit. Miracles are endless. Yeah, somebody wants a miracle. Somebody wants what they want and they want, you know, they're expecting a miracle, hoping for a miracle. It's going to take a miracle. <laughs> Someone sees the bigger picture. Yeah. Wow. That's been the theme a lot. And probably it. Well, who else had it? Somebody else had the this card, or maybe a few people, seeing the bigger picture. Life is speeding up. Yeah, someone's seeing the bigger picture of a situation, and they're putting something behind. Someone, it, it's like a miracle that someone finally gets it, maybe, too, and things are going to start to move forward. Someone's making a choice here. Someone has a choice to make in love, putting something behind to be able to move forward uh, successfully in love, and that's lovely i can't wait to see where this goes aquarius 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 <laughs> all right aquarius what's going on what's coming in what's going out what's changing in the love lives of the aquarius viewers clear messages and guidance please so they can make clear decisions in their love life aquarius love energy in the cards what do they need to know does aquarius need to know Nine of Vessels, generosity. Ooh, somebody might be coming in to reciprocate and be very, very generously to you to create a miracle. And it might seem like a miracle. Holy cow. Seven of Vessels. Yeah. Ooh. You know, I feel like somebody had their options open in the past. They were giving to other people. They weren't sharing much, okay? They kept their options open. They were giving a little here and a little there to each person. But I think someone's coming in to be more generous, and it's going to be something rather abundant. They could be giving a very generous gift. Somebody might be, I, don't, I seen this for, who did I see this for? Libra had a similar kind of reading. Yeah, what's going on? Yep, somebody wants a victory. Uh, it's going to take a miracle, I think. Somebody's become clear. They're ready to come in and tell the truth. It may seem like a miracle. Uh, by the looks of it, it's darn well going to be. Someone's holding on. They don't want to let go of something. Okay, someone's holding on. They've been thinking, pondering over a situation due to lack of uh, equal give and take, keeping their options open. Uh, there's been a sense of mourning here. Somebody's been mourning this. And, yeah, a lot of confusion. It's just been this misery, all right, a lot of confusion and depression. But someone's becoming clear they need a miracle. They don't want to let go of somebody, and they're thinking about it, pondering over this lack of re reciprocity. Someone's seeing the bigger picture. Yeah, and then we have five of bows. Yeah, there was conflict challenges. Somebody had their options open. Competition. Someone was giving to more than one person. Someone's seeing the truth of it. They're becoming very clear. It seems like a miracle, but I do feel like somebody doesn't want to let go. They're holding on, and they want to come back in. Somebody is just holding on to this conflicting energy, though. It's like someone doesn't want to let go of their other options a little bit either here, and someone's getting it, okay? Someone's starting to see the bigger picture that somebody's not going to let go of somebody. 
quite possibly okay they just can't seem to let go take it as it resonates we got the nine of stones tradition yeah somebody there's a need for some healing here but this is also it's like somebody's meditating thinking about their uh, traditions or beliefs and their behaviors and i think traditionally here we've got somebody who is very traditionally single uh traditionally they like to have lots of options they like to get lots of attention they have a lot of abundance and uh yeah someone's starting to uh they want to let go of someone they're starting to feel like they want to take action towards someone they feel is very abundant they're becoming clear that um somebody may have been a gift and they kind of blew it because they wouldn't let somebody else go for that one person that nine of stones but someone's definitely uh very conflicted about their traditions or habits their beliefs their behaviors they're they're becoming clear they're seeing seeing themselves for what they are what they become how they behave uh their habits the thing the way they've been raised religion everything uh it's very much creating conflicting energies we have the ten of stones yeah so somebody's holding on they want someone's been trying to hold on to their money everything they've worked for and this is why they've kept their options open very similar reading to libra so i'm sure the cross watchers are going to enjoy this and of course libra and aquarius very often uh, connect so <laughs> that's all i can say Somebody's very much felt they've needed to protect, you know, their foundation, their home, everything they've worked for. So traditionally, they didn't want to give much. They kept their options open. Somebody was possibly looking for that one person who was a miracle. And I don't think they recognized that the one option, the one person they had actually was that person. Yeah, but there was competition and fighting, arguing. Someone's getting it. They're seeing why it happened. They don't. I don't feel this person's liking what they see. They're having a hard time letting go. Someone's having a hard time letting go of all their options as well. But they're getting it. They're pondering it, thinking about it, trying to get balance. Somebody wants to come in and be generous with somebody now and create some kind of stability because they don't want to lose them. Okay, and then we have the page of bows. Yeah, so... I feel like we got Aries and Gemini energy here as well. I feel as though somebody jumped in and said something um, rather blunt. They might be youthful, playful. Maybe they were. you felt they were a little immature, Aquarius, but they jumped in and said something about they want safety, security, something stable. Okay, somebody may have been in and out quickly in and out of your life and it had, a, you know, it didn't make you feel safe and secure. But I feel like there's something going to be, I, I actually feel like somebody's going to give somebody something. They're going to just come and bluntly put it out there to create some kind of stability. It's saying what needs to be said, standing in their power. It's also a very playful energy. I mean, somebody might come in and try to be a little playful about this, make light of it, try to get things to move forward. But, oh, no, no, no. Yeah, there's a choice between two people. Someone has a choice. And, uh... Aquarius, I feel like if somebody comes forward towards you and they just say, look, let's have, let's commit, let's, can we make this stable again? And it just kind of comes in out of the blue, like very quickly. I feel like you're going to be sitting on the fence going, what do I do with this? Which way do I go? Because you actually see the bigger picture. You kind of know what's been going on with this person. Uh, you know yourself. Okay. You know yourself. You know where you want to go. You know what you want. But somebody wants to come in, they're going to come in quick, just like bang, say what they want to say. They want to make things stable. And I, I feel like you're going to possibly tell this person, I want something safe and secure. I have choices. I don't, you know. But there's a decision that's going to need to be made here with this two of bows. And it has to be fairly quick, I feel. Or you're going to feel the need to, to uh, react to it very quickly. Um, because these you can see these both of these... Um, Bows are, are on fire, and eventually they'll be cinder, okay? So it looks like this person's made a few decisions in the past. There's nothing but cinder on his feet. <laughs> you got to make them quick or they're just gone, all right? So that's, I feel like someone feels they need to make a quick decision to come in and offer stability, uh, something solid with somebody, and, you know, create this stable foundation here. Yeah. Somebody wants something stable, and they want it to move fast so 
Whew, but there's a decision that needs to be made possibly between two people. And it's like, hurry up and make this decision before this person gets away. Uh, because this is this person moves quickly. So it could be you, could be them. Okay, it all depends. Yeah, somebody's about re just about ready to put something behind and make a choice to go on another path with someone else. And I don't think they want you to get away or vice versa. So, okay, let's see. What's going on with this Nine of Vessels? Oh, this is quite similar to uh, Libras, and I think I keep saying Libra, so there's a hint there. Look at that, Nine of Vessels. There's love here. Somebody had choices in love. Somebody had, had options, and uh, it's Gemini, Aries energy. Uh, doesn't have to be either of those signs. I do see uh, the Page of Bows here, which is fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, so... All right, Seven of Vessels. What's going on here with the Seven of Vessels? Yeah, somebody wants to give somebody something. They want to be more generous. There was a lack of reciprocity in a love situation because somebody was offering it to two people. Somebody was in love with two people. That's what I feel. And there's been a lot of confusion, um, a lot of delusion around this, but someone's becoming, uh, seeing the truth now. They're starting to become clear, and they want to have a victory. Somebody knows... They have to make a decision, a clear decision to get a new beginning. I feel like you got a miracle coming your way, Aquarius. Seven of Vessels, what's going on with this Seven of Vessels? Oh. Yeah, so somebody's been depressed, very upset. Oh my goodness, what have we got here? Someone's becoming clear. There's a need for balance. Somebody's trying to balance out their emotions. Okay. Yeah. Somebody felt like they were an option and they're, someone's very depressed, very upset. So there's a lot of, um, a lot of mourning here. Somebody has to set themselves free. Somebody was getting attention from a lot of people and they need to set themselves free from it, but they're very upset because they have to make a choice between two. And I feel like somebody loves two people, but there's a clarity and a truth. To get a victory, someone needs to set themselves free. Somebody was getting attention in a lot from a lot of people here, more than one, obviously. Someone's becoming clear, and they need to become clear, and the clarity is they need to set themselves free uh, from this depression, uh, from somebody who could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy, could be this person and get some balance. Somebody needs to balance out their emotions to get a victory. That's going to take a miracle, I feel. Tell me about the ace. Look at that. That come flying out. Yeah, there's going to be some communication. Somebody wants to communicate clearly, uh, passionate. They want things to move forward. They want to put uh, some energy and passion into it and uh, into a situation. It's going to seem like a miracle, and it's going to take one, I think to fix this more than just a communication. Tell me about the forest stones. What's going on with the forest stones? Yeah, so someone's trying to make a decision. They're holding on. Somebody's holding on to two people. Somebody's pondering a situation, sitting on the fence, trying to decide which way to go. There's competition here, challenges. They're feeling very challenged, but I feel like they're becoming empowered now, ready to take action. Uh, they've been doing a lot of thinking, feeling very conflicted about their beliefs, their habits, their traditional behaviors. Uh, somebody traditionally has been single, but they're starting to see the bigger picture. All that does is cause conflict when there's more than one person involved. They're getting it. Five of those. Somebody's been creating their own issues by involving more than one person. And, and uh, so there's always these conflicts and fighting. Yeah, always conflicts and fighting when there's competition. Someone's getting it. Someone's fighting with themselves about this too. They kind of want to be single and they want to keep their options open, but they know it's time. It's time to make a decision uh, to pick a person. It's not going to be easy. Someone's going to be left out. Someone's going to be hurt. Uh, someone's missing somebody, though, a lot, and they want to move forward towards this person. Uh, and the person they move towards, it's going to seem like a miracle. It really is. Nine of stones, what's going on? Someone needs a miracle here, I feel, and they're very much 
uh, upset about what to do. Yeah, so somebody traditionally was always had more than one person, and they also work a lot. Someone has a lot of abundance. Um, they're used to working in a team. Someone's trying to think of creative ways uh, to sort out this conflict in their own head. But this is a single person who has a lot of abundance, and it's like they're starting to realize now it's time to team up with somebody. It's time to form that team where traditionally they like to stay single and keep all their abundance to themselves and just enjoy themselves doing whatever. But it's it's causing nothing but problems in their life. Tell me about the Ten of Stones. Yeah. So, yeah, somebody wants to make things stable. Somebody didn't feel safe and secure because they know they knew somebody had someone else. There was a lack of, um, somebody wasn't held in high regard. They didn't feel safe and secure. But I feel like somebody is now going to, just about to make a decision. Just about to do it. To have pick that person, the person who's everything to them. Uh, sexy and passionate, creative. Um, this person could be a healer very fertile, very motherly, very, you know, this is Mother Earth. So somebody's starting to get that. They see security in this person. Somebody is very, uh, very abundant. They, they see the stability in that. They get the bigger picture. They see that this person is very stable. They got everything that they need. And somebody is holding themselves in high regard here. They're like, I want safety and security. I have a lot. I'm quite fine. I'm good on my own. I can stay single. I feel better when I'm single. If you can't make a choice, I'm good. I'm I'm gone. I'm not going to put up with this, right? That's kind of what's happened. There's been fighting about this. Somebody's just standing in their power here, and they just put something out there bluntly. But I also feel like on the flip side, because I feel like there's two conflicting energies here, the other person's just going to put it out there that they, they want this person. They're going to make a decision. It's at that time, once that decision's made, things are going to speed up. Somebody knows they need to hurry up with the page of bows. They need to hurry up and put it out there uh, because this person, they very well could have options as well. And they are very fertile, very abundant. They're very stable. So, yeah, they have options. Somebody might even tell you that or you may tell them that I have other options. I don't need this. All right, I'm good on my own. I'm off. See you later. You know, just like that. <laughs> Adios. Yeah, they'll just speed away. They'll be gone in a flash because this is a fast moving energy. All right, Page of O's. You can see this playful little creature here. He zips and zings around. He's quick thinker. He's quick moving. He doesn't wait around for anybody. It's like, hurry up and make a decision or I'm gone. It's at that point here. So Page of O's. What's going on with this Page of O's? Clarity. Deeper insight to this page of bows. What's being said here? Ooh, too many cards. The page of bows. There we go. Oh, yep. Somebody put an end to something and they're moving forward. Somebody ended a cycle with someone because they weren't held in high regard. They didn't feel safe, secure. They didn't feel like there could be anything stable. Somebody was traditionally not a team player. They always had competition. Uh, conflict, nobody, you know, they wouldn't team up and make things stable. So see you later. They ended things and off they went. But this person's, they've got a choice between two people. They don't know which way they're going to go. And I feel it, um, it's them or it's you, but I feel like it's them. They have to decide between you and someone else. All right. And I, I got this feeling where with this antelope spirit, you're like, eh. I don't know. I don't think I want to be anybody's option. I don't want to be option number two. You know, that's kind of how, yeah, somebody wants to be option number one. So there's going to be an offer made. Someone's going to plant that seed to try and take control of this and move things forward. But, hmm, yep, somebody's pondering that, moving things forward with somebody, um, speeding things up, hurrying up, taking control. But this person's, I feel like it's you. I think they're going to come towards you and you're going to have to make this decision. Um, and I think, this person's going to try to get you to make it quick. They're somehow I'm feeling a little impatient. They want you to make it quick. I think you're going to have trouble. Uh, it's going to be, this is more than likely you just throwing that out there. Look, I'm not putting up with this. I'm gone. I'm out of here. I'm going to go the other direction. But things are speeding up. This person's in a hurry now to come in and grab you before you get away. 
Uh, they know you're quick. They know you're fast. So they've been thinking about this offer, trying to get both of you on the same page. They're pondering moving things forward very quickly with you, possibly even an engagement for some of you, because they are very worried. They know you probably have other choices as well. You know, you're not going to sit around and wait for them. Uh, if you've been waiting for a while, they know it's probably like D-Day, right? It's time really soon. So they're thinking about this. They're ready. They got it in their hand. I feel like they've already kind of thought about it. It's just a matter of time before they plant the seed. They may give you a gift to try to uh, take control of this so that you'll move in their direction. Uh, they want to be in control. This person's going to use everything they have uh, to get things moving in their favor here. They want things to go their way. They want to put an end to whatever happened in the past and move forward. They do see you uh, as very fertile, very sexy, as everything they want. They do see everything about you. Okay, They do get the bigger picture that you are actually the one they should have picked in the first place. Oh boy, Libra or not Libra. See, I feel like they could be a Libra. They're, you know, we got Libra energy here. So I, it keeps coming out of my mouth. This is Aquarius reading. All right, let's see what's going on with this cow spirit. This person could have Libra, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in their chart. We got Aries and Gemini energy here as well. Somebody may have to pick. Could be you having to pick between two, but I kind of feel like, I, I do feel like you have to make a choice. The choice is going to be yours. You're the one who's going to sit on the fence and feel like you have to hurry up and make a choice. I, whatever it is they're going to say to you, it's very practical, very grounded, but they're going to plant that seed. It's going to be a fairly big offer because they want whatever this is, they want it to go their way. So they know it has to be something abundant. It could be a gift. Just an offer to move forward, to commit. Tell me about this cow spirit. What's going on with the cow spirit? Two. Yeah, so there was something ended here, and there's been a transformation. It's going to take a miracle. You're going to, whatever's happened, there was an ending in the beginning. It's going to make you very happy. Somebody could be ending something with a Scorpio. That was immature, possibly. All right. They may have had their options open. Take it as it resonates. I see here that uh, whatever it is, it's going to be happy. It's going to make you happy. Somebody uh, wants a miracle. They want their happily ever after. I feel like it's going to take one, to be honest. Someone seeing the bigger picture with the giraffe spirit. What's this about? Yeah, somebody gets it. Somebody's clear. They want a new beginning with somebody. They want to offer them a new beginning. Plant that seed. Uh, plant it from the ground up. Now, here's what I also see. You're going to want to move this forward quick. This person is not. So there might be some issues. You're going to want this to speed up. Once the seed's planted, things move forward. You want things to go in your favor. You want it to move. Because I feel like some of you, it's been three years, five years that you've been messing around with this person on and off, stop, go, and you've had enough. You want it to move. You want things to go in your favor. You want speed. Uh, and I, I, I think this person kind of gets it, to be honest. But they may try to make things slow and start right from the beginning. And that's how they're going to try to take control of this. Is all right, well, let's just go really slow. I don't think you're going to go for it. I think if this person says, okay, we got to start from the bottom up, they give you a little gift or whatever it is they're going to do to take control is they want to go slow. They're going to charge in, take control, and then they're going to go, Poop, we're going to go slow now because I feel like they're going to still be sitting on the fence a little bit. So you may just, you know, I don't think you're going to go for it. Yeah, they got secrets and hidden things. There's still things this person kept their feelings hidden. They had secrets in the past, and I kind of feel like, yeah, yeah, they didn't share their feelings and emotions with you in the past, and this is the thing. That needs to come out. Uh, if this person doesn't move forward properly, uh, speed up this process, off, offer love. This is the big cup, okay? You want this person to offer you the big cup. You want all these secrets to come out in the open, this hidden emotions, hidden feelings. I feel like this person hid their love from you because they were undecided between you and someone else. They're still, they may love you, but there's still me somebody else that they are in love with. They may love two people, you and another option. 
So be careful. But I feel like this person knows they need to come in and be generous. They need to offer you love and they need to do it in a big way because they know there's been hurt. They know there's been depression. I think they miss you. They want to set themselves free from this. But this person, they need to get their balance. And whatever it is, they need to balance out their emotions and uh, become very clear first. And I think they have. I think they finally kind of balance things out and they're clear. They are passionate. They do want to move forward. Yep, they want to set themselves free. But this person, they are a little arrogant. And I feel like they need to set themselves free from that, that tradition, that behavior. All right, where they got lots of attention from people and it kind of built their ego. Like they have a big ego. Uh, it creates a lot of conflict and problems, and I think they're getting it. Believe it or not, I really do. It's going to seem like a miracle, but, yeah, be careful what you wish for with this person because they might offer you love and still have some secrets, okay? Tell me about this antelope spirit. Well, I'm a little concerned. Tell me about the antelope spirit. Yep, this person, life is speeding up, and I, I got a funny feeling you might just still feel like they got secrets even though they're offering you a cup there's something here yeah you're going to have to make this decision and i feel like you've got options aquarius i do i actually feel like you have options and um you might just go off in another direction and pick another option even though this person's moving forward there was an end of cycle in the past because they didn't make you feel safe and secure i think you ended things with them very bluntly, very quickly, and you've been moving forward. And I think this person's taken so long to make a decision. You sat in the fence and waited for a very long time, knowing full well they had a choice between the competitor, you and the competitor. They're going to plant this seed, and I got a funny feeling. You could have another person coming in. They could be a cancer uh, that hasn't exposed themselves yet or their feelings. Because this person's coming in, they're taking their time, and they're gonna, they want to take control, but I got a funny feeling somebody's going to make a bigger offer than they are, and it's going to be too late. You're going to take off in the other direction towards this other option that's much more abundant, the one that offers you the big cup, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Uh-huh. That's what I'm seeing. Yeah, there's some change coming. Things are going to evolve between you and someone else. You're putting an end to something and things are evolving. You're going to go for someone else. I don't, I think this person came in too late. I think they were too late. This cancer energy zoomed right in here. Somebody's coming in to take control and offer it. Now, it could be this other person, whoever they are. They could be, a, well, I was saying they could be a Libra. They could be a Scorpio. They could very well be a Cancer Pisces. Um, but I feel like there's Cancer energy here coming in. And we got that twice. I think you're going in another direction. I think somebody's coming in to make you an offer right when this person comes. And it's bigger. But it could be them if they have water in their chart. Yeah. But there's you've got options. And I got a feeling that things are speeding up. Your love life is starting to move. There's changes coming here. Aquarius, okay, there's changes coming big time. Uh, I, I think if this Libra comes back, I don't know. I don't think this person held you in high regard. I don't think you felt s safe and secure with them. And I think you're going to tell them that. So you're going to have to make a quick decision here because I think it's going to happen right around the same time. Yeah, so you're going to have to take control and be the emperor and make this decision. You're going to have to rule like an emperor. Once you make your decision, it's going to be it, okay? Uh, this person that's coming towards you as well, Aquarius, could be an Aries. Uh, they could be domineering. They could be very controlling. But um, it's not always in a bad way. This, somebody might try to conquer the other person, all right, and overpower them. There might be conflict or competition here between two people. You might tell this person that you've got other options and that you're moving towards someone else. Oh, yeah, it's quite possible. <laughs> yeah, you're going to move towards someone else. You've got this chariot energy because you feel like you feel like there's somebody's left you out in the cold. They were too domineering. They wanted everything their way. They wanted to control how things went. And you're just 
whoever that person was, the domineering one in your life that wanted everything their way, you're not having it. No, there's no hope with that person. Yeah, you're, you've told them that. And I do think there's someone else coming in. You're going to go right. Things are speeding up. You're going to have to make a quick decision. I don't know why it has to be quick. Yeah, you've got somebody. Somebody's coming in to take control. It could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I feel heavy Cancer, uh, possibly with some Aries, Leo, Sag in their chart. You've got options and you're going to have to make a choice. Yeah, you're going to have to take control and make this decision very quickly. Somebody wants to control you, though. They want to win. I feel like there's going to be like a fight between two people or there's there's just competition. There's going to be some aggression, some anger. Somebody's probably going to, the King of Rods can be quite jealous, too. Whew. Yep, somebody was a player here. Somebody wants to figure out how to fix the situation and heal it. But I think you're going to release the person that played you that feels like baggage and you're going to heal and go for someone else. Somebody who offers you the real deal. Yep, you become very clear. Aquarius, you're clear about what you want. You'll make the decision. I think you have a bit of a strategy. You already kind of know uh, that you got this person, this ex, who treated you like an option. They lacked any generosity. Then it reciprocate. You know, um, they didn't hold you in high regard. They always had someone else involved. They just lacked stability. I think you held on to them for quite some time, though. And then I think you started to see the bigger picture. And somebody else came forward. You got clear. Someone else come forward. You clear you needed to have a new beginning. But this other person, the ex, became clear about how they felt about you. So, bang, two people. Yeah, you're going to have to set yourself free. You're going to go off on a new adventure. Uh, we got Sagittarius. You're going to set yourself free possibly from a Sagittarius, somebody with Sag in their chart. And you're going to go for somebody else. But you want the truth. You want clarity. Yeah, you want something stable. You're going to go for the person who's the most stable that offers you the stability and treats you like the empress that you are. That's the way I want to see it, Aquarius. Yeah, you know what you want. You're going for stability. You're going to use your mind. You're going to be logical about this. You're going to use your head over your heart in this final decision. And once you do, things are going to speed up. Things are going to move forward and you're going to reach stability and have something really nice. You got several people. Like I feel like you got three people or so possibly around you. Uh, definitely a choice to make. At that final minute, somebody's coming in. Right before you're about to choose between two people, I feel like almost like one more that X comes in. <laughs> I get it now. I'm sorry. I want to have a new beginning. I love you. You know, yeah, I don't think you're going to go for it. A lot of you. Yeah, this person might be toxic. They may even be drunk when they contact you. I don't think you'll go for it. They're obsessed over you. Yeah, you're going to move away from this person. No thanks. They're going to want to come and see you. And they're probably drinking when they do. You're not going to go for it. So this isn't for everyone, obviously. Yeah, they're going to be very anxious and impatient to come and see you. But I honestly feel like you're just going to, I really think you're going to become very clear. You know what you want. And I do feel like they could be a Libra, okay, with Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio in their chart. Plus you have an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, very Sagittarius energy. But I think you're going to set yourself free from that person. They're too controlling, too domineering. And you're going to go for that water sign, that cancer that comes in and swoops in. It's like a detour, the divine detour, going in another direction, taking control of your love life and just going for whatever brings you the, 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 the victory, the clarity and the stability. Okay, so, yeah, there will be a lot of communication. Somebody's coming in. They're going to communicate. It's going to come in swift and they're going to want to put a lot of passion and energy into you. And I feel like you're going to be the same way. You'll be communicating back and forth. Things are going to move quick. So get ready for it, Aquarius. I think some of you have got choices. Some of you probably don't have three people uh, and it's just an energy. But somebody definitely is very controlling. They want it, things their way. Be careful of that person. Make sure because you had an end of a cycle possibly to do with that before. But, um, and you may be seeing the bigger picture of that and be ready to handle this person. 
or they see the bigger picture and they want to come back in and they're anxious, but they be careful. They're obsessed with you. Uh, you could be obsessed with them, but I feel like they're obsessed with you. They may be drinking when they contact you and want to immediately be in a rush to come and see you, I feel. But I, I don't think you're going to let them come over right away. I don't feel it. I feel like you're going to uh, think with your head over your heart and be logical. You're looking for stability. Uh, that's not stable behavior at all. Okay, and I do feel like you are in a hurry to get your love life moving forward. So you're going to be in a rush to make a decision because you're really ready now. Okay, you're really ready to move forward. So just be logical and I think you'll make the right decision because you're going you're going for gold here. All right, you want something stable. Somebody who's got their finances in order. Somebody who will give you that stability. Things will be grounded. You'll be a couple. Um it's like a united, strong, united force here. Okay, I like it. Things are speeding up. So, wow, Aquarius, I wish you the best. I hope everything works out in your favor. Comment away and let me know how it goes. Everyone, take care of yourselves, and I will see you next week. Bye for now.